Hello everybody, Sir Raz here, and today I'm going to be bringing you another series of casts. Um, I actually got an email from the website uh, Zeke.com, which is Z333K.com, and they're like, hey, you want to cast a couple of games from our tournament? I was like, alright, fine. Why not? Shoot me some good games and I'll go ahead and cast them. So, uh, I'm going to be casting two best of threes between um, a number of different players. Well, a couple different players. And, yes, yeah, so that's what my next cast is going to be. So, first we are going to be watching Lucky versus QWERTY. And, so this is going to be a ZVP. And, uh, Lucky is somebody who I actually follow quite a bit uh, when I do live casts. And he plays in a lot of, like, the smaller tournaments and whatever. And usually that's pretty good. Uh, I think he's, like, a... I don't know. He's, he's in the top 200, um... So, I mean, he's definitely, you know, one of the best Zerg players in North America. And uh, he usually plays a pretty good Zerg. And I don't know too much about his opponent, QWERTY. I've heard the name, and that's about it. So, uh, we'll have to see if this is a good game. It is, like I said, it is, well, good series, I guess is what I should say. And it looks like I am lagging here. Ah, oh, there we go. That's kind of odd. I'm actually... This is from um, before the patch, so I had to load up StarCraft with, like, the patcher, and I think that sometimes causes some issues, so, um, I don't know, I think that, that might be why I lagged out there, but who knows. But anyways, let's get uh, on with the game. Looks like Lucky went for, like, the 13 spawning pool, and then the 13 extractor, and just choosing not to expand early and that's probably a really good choice on this map it's a very short rush distance on this map and especially before the patch um, if the Protoss decides to two gate and you go for like a fast expand sort of build you'll find yourself in a lot of trouble but I don't think the Protoss is going to two gate as he does have that assimilator up already and there we go there's the cybernetics core Lucky seeing that assimilator going for a gas deal and going to try and limit the gas that Cordy can get and kind of limit his tech. And what is Lucky doing? Looks like the probe trying to kill the hatch. I don't think he's going to be too successful. There we go. He's going to run away. And we do have some Link spawning relatively soon. And I think what Lucky's going to do is just do go get out these uh, six Links and then use that to take his expansion. And we'll see him expand relatively soon. Cordy getting out a Zealot. And second zealot looks like he just wants to start killing that extractor ASAP. And I mean that's the only reason he'd want to do that is because he wants the gas for some reason. So we probably will see um, some sort of tech build. Oh, there we go, lagging a little bit once again. Look, he getting a couple more workers. Like I said, kind of surprised this guy is gonna go for an expansion, right? Ah. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Pretty much a standard Zerg play, like, you open with that 13 pool and the gas, get speedlings, take your workers off gas, and then just focus on minerals, and then get your expansion at around 20, 20, 20-ish food, I guess I would say. Look, he got his at 21, for example. And then, from there, uh, see what's up. I mean, you basically just build lings and defenses more drones till you feel safe with this expansion, and then you start teching two more gateways going up for Cordy. Ooh, three gateways, so we are going to see a four gate build coming up, and will Lucky have enough to defend um, against this four gate push? That's going to be the question here. His hatch is going to come up. It's really going to come down. Well, this is a very rough map for Zerg, and this is why. Um, so he has this expansion here, right? And I don't know, it's, it's really, really kind of silly, like, you can put spine crawlers, you have to put spine crawlers, like, all over along here, but none of them really help you defend your main, so forces can just kind of run up this ramp in your main and just ignore any defenses out there. Looks like we're actually going to see the Roach Warren coming out, so that will probably allow Lucky to defend against any sort of 4-game push. Yeah, Cordy's starting to get his forces uh, up, and we'll have to see what, uh, looks like he's actually thinking about pushing up here, mm, maybe just kind of playing around with these lings, wants to m take them out, uh, I don't know, maybe he's trying to like bait them in here and then block them with force fields or something, not really sure what's going on there. 
Oh, and the Overlord, very nice, going to see the Foregate, and I think Lookie's just gonna end up pumping troops very soon now, and I think Cordy's thinking, okay, he knows what's going on, I have to push now, and we are gonna see him attack, and we'll have to see if Lookie can defend. So he's getting up that spine crawler. Let's look at the uh, income tab. Looky behind. Army tab. Looky behind. So he's gonna have to make something happen here. Right? He's gonna find himself in a lot of trouble. Trying to poke in there with some links, but needs to. Ooh, gonna lose a couple links there. Every little bit hurts. Going to get up that uh, or that spine crawler very soon. Looks like he is going to try and attack, maybe. Try and break that a little bit. Oh, and then retreating here. Um, bringing it, nice Ling control for a while there. What he was doing is trying to tank with his roaches. Oh, it looks like that Ling is going to go down. This is not looking very good for Lucky at all. He needs to get more roaches out. Um, and Lings, really. He needs Lings more than roaches here. ASAP to defend against this. Maybe even another spine crawler. Oh, and uh, this is exactly what I was talking about. So Cordy's just going to run here. Force field the ramp. And GG Lucky's main base. And this really hurts. This is why this map is so frustrating for Zerg. Um, your opponent can just ignore your expansion defenses. And it's just too hard to take those rock expansions first. So look at all this damage. I mean, Lucky's entire base is going to go down here. Trying to run away with some workers, and that's a smart choice. And also doing this counterattack. And this is probably the smartest move here. But oh no! Force field at the ramp. Enough sentries here to do the continuous force field. And yeah, this is this is gonna be game over right here. I mean, look, he can't counterattack. His forces are way out of position here. Force fields can go down forever. His main is gonna go down. He's down in workers. Oh, I mean, there's no way he's gonna defend against this, so. Looks like the first game is going to go to QWERTY here in this series of the best of three. Just kind of waiting for the GG now. Kind of surprised Lucky hasn't GG'd yet. I mean, he's got some more Lings running around here. Um, I still don't think his army is large enough, though, to deal with the Force of Cordy. And at, all, at the same time, I mean, look at all these reinforcements back in Cordy's base. He has five more sentries and five more zealots. And Lucky's saying, ah, four gates. Hate this map, yeah. This map is very bad for Zerg, so. There's the GG, and looks like Cordy does take game one.